In today's video, I will be showing you how I created a video game in Unreal Engine using ChatGPT and Stable Diffusion only. There are a few things to keep in mind. First of all, I have never ever designed a game in my life before. I've never opened Unreal Engine before and this is going to be a challenge for me, definitely. I want to see if anyone can generate a video game, even people that are total beginners just like me. So let's begin. One useful way to use ChatGPT is by applying a technique called role-playing, which is this technique in which you tell ChatGPT that it is an expert in, in this case, game design, because this is what I need to do. And also you can set the tone and the temperature of the conversation to anything between 0 and 1. If the temperature is around 0, that means that ChatGPT is going to give you conservative responses, and if it's closer to 1, that it means that the responses are going to be very, very creative. ChatGPT gave me five incredibly creative ideas for the game. I picked the last idea, the Galactic Gardener. However, the game seemed incredibly complex and since I didn't really have enough time to work on it for like a couple of months, I decided to simplify it and instead I'm gonna make a very simple space race game. Something like Super Mario Kart but much much simpler. First I wanted to create a 3D model of the spaceship and the planets that are gonna be my environment for the game. And I discovered this tool called Luma AI, which lets you generate 3D models from text prompts. In my previous YouTube video, I was discussing the imperfections of the current text to 3D model AI tool. So I was really hoping that Luma AI would be better than everything that I've tried to work with so far. Unfortunately, I'm still on their waitlist. However, you can visit their website and find 3D models that other users who already have access to the tool have previously generated, which is what I did. I decided to download this specific 3D model of the space. But unfortunately, the 3D model had a lot of bugs, which is why I decided to go to TurboSquid and download a proper 3D model of the spaceship for free. Apart from my spaceship, I'm also gonna need some environment, like some planets that are gonna be probably some obstacles in the game. So in order to generate textures for these planets, I'm gonna use Stable Diffusion's Automatic 1111's web UI, and I'm gonna use a plugin for Stable Diffusion called Asymmetric Tiling, which is gonna allow me to create seamless textures for my planets. I managed to create uh, awesome textures by using simple prompts like abstract texture of Jupiter or Mars or any other planet that I could think of. I created a couple of these textures and later I'm gonna import them into Unreal Engine and apply them to my spheres. I started by designing a simple prototype in Unreal Engine. Basically, ChatGPT told me to open a template for a third-person game to import my 3D models, my spaceship 3D model, that is. Which I did, and then I realized that I don't know what to do with this spaceship. It was just kind of chilling over there. So I asked ChatGPT how to add interactivity, how to make the spaceship move forward and backward, left and right. It gave me some instructions. However, unfortunately, it made me a little bit more confused than anything. Unreal Engine has blueprints, which are a visual way to program things in Unreal Engine. And in blueprints, you add nodes and nodes essentially do things, they are like functions. ChatGPT was trying to make me insert a certain number of nodes, however, to be honest, I actually couldn't find some of the nodes that I'd recommended, they just didn't exist. I believe the ChatGPT was hallucinating and however, I did follow its instructions, although, although it was clear that instructions were not really the best, but my spaceship just wasn't moving and it wasn't moving for a really long time, like maybe for two days it was just standing there. And in the meantime, ChatGPT just kept apologizing to me in a very, very polite manner. Apologies for the confusion. I apologize for the confusion earlier. I apologize for the confusion so far. I apologize for the confusion in my previous responses. Apologies for the abrupt ending. Here's an example of a simple blueprint that allows a spaceship to move forward. Well, thanks a lot, ChatGPT. Thanks a lot. 
This is what it sounded like on the third day of the project. I was desperate and ready to give up and my spaceship just wasn't moving no matter what I did to it. So I decided to give myself a deadline. If I do manage to make the spaceship move forward by 11 a.m., I'm going to continue with the project. If not, I'm just going to give up on it. And then at 10 a.m., just one hour before the deadline, ChatGPT just casually mentions one component that it never mentioned before and voila, I added the component and suddenly everything started working my spaceship could move forward backward and left and right so yay finally a success I have resolved one issue but I immediately ran into another one my idea for this game was for the spaceship to race through the universe and in case it collides with any of the planets the spaceship should bounce off and lose a point and speed however once I inserted these planets my game started bugging Actually, my spaceship would get absorbed by the planet in case it came too, too close to it. So I, I asked ChatGPT how to resolve this issue and ChatGPT gave me a solution that did exactly the opposite of what I wanted it to do. Actually, now when my spaceship hits a planet, the planet bounces off, which doesn't really make a lot of sense. However, since I already wasted too much time on making the spaceship move forward, I decided to just go with the flow and from now on, my game logic has changed. Now my spaceship is gonna try to hit as many planets as possible in a limited time span. In the next step, I added a widget that displays how many times I've hit a planet successfully. And this is the first step where ChatGPT really didn't struggle. The only thing worth mentioning is that when I was compiling the widget, I ran into some bugs, so I copy pasted them into ChatGPT and I immediately got a solution that was working. So I guess this step took around half an hour and I'd say it was relatively easy to add this widget. Another task where ChatGPT really didn't struggle was adding this timer and adding a new game logic. So now if you hit more than 50 planets in less than 30 seconds, you win or you lose if you don't. Default sky in Unreal Engine is blue sky with some clouds. However, that didn't really look like space at all. So I visited Blockage Labs, a website where you can generate environmental textures and you have various templates that you can choose from and of course you can add your text prompt you can generate the texture and you can download it all in less than one minute as a last step i'm just going to make this game look aesthetically pleasing so the first thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to apply the textures that are previously generated in stable diffusion so that our planets don't look gray and sad and finally, I'm going to add particles that are going to make the game look far more interesting. I will have one particle follow my spaceship and also I'm going to scatter a couple of particles all across the universe. And here are the final results. I want to mention a few things. First of all, this was definitely not an easy task. I actually ended up working on this project for roughly 10 days, more or less full time, and I felt tempted to look at the YouTube tutorials or to Google things. However, I persisted and ChatGPT was really good at guiding me through the process, even though I still think that it had tendency to hallucinate from time to time. Also, I think that ChatGPT got better the longer I chatted with it. Towards the end, it would give me a very straightforward and very accurate responses. So that's it for today's video and I hope you like it. In case you do, please consider subscribing to my channel. It would mean a lot to me, especially since I just started out.